But, you know, maybe we just need to, to contact some of the people in the original association there and see if they're willing to. Have them come into a discussion or contact them informally. Uh, you were here for that a couple of years ago? Mr. Fitzpatrick came in and. Uh, I don't recall, but I mean, I may have been here. But well, okay, so what are we recommending here on these parcels? And again, the 196 Main Street, we were, we're aware of that one there. That's right in front of uh, Joker's Wild. We have a little strip of land there, and then on the opposite side of the road, a Patley Road, a little strip of land, and then a big swamp area. Mm -hmm. I would assume it's those people that are looking for uh, expressing an interest. Joker's wild people because they have parking issues and. Uh, that's right. That's although they don't own they don't own the forty five hundred square feet on the other side of Patley Road. See, see, see in uh, the main street the yeah. thirty thousand five hundred square feet. Mm -hmm. That's where the Joker's wild or the jokes or whatever it is. Well, then, that the, then the forty five hundred square foot parcel is privately owned and they lease that to them for parking. For parking. But we okay. own the strip of land all in front of it. And then the rest of the 27,000 square feet, most of that's wet, I believe. I think it would be, right? Huh? Yeah, it's gotta be. Most of that's wet, and I think we have a billboard there that we're starting to yeah, collect. So that we, the that famous we billboard? The famous billboard that we actually collect something on. So no, we still No, that's not there, is it? Yeah, I think it's uh, just east. South. 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 South of Jim Carrey. Yeah. yeah. I believe it's on that parcel. And my compass so that turns sideways. I believe we're, f we're finally collecting something on that billboard that we had for years. Right. Mm. Oh, we do. Yes. So that if you were yep. to give up the rights to that parcel, you give up the rights to the collection of the income. But Which what would the maybe taxes be on versus the lease of that billboard? On a piece of swamp land with a billboard on it? Probably not much. I'll say some that, uh, that <laughs> strip is only 10 foot wide. Yeah. Well, that's the strip, but then you've got the 27,000 square foot. Yeah, right. Yeah. Which is big. So, th so that's why there's an issue with that parcel. Let's see. 206 Main Street. Which one is that? We all have a story. I don't see that. 206 Main. Oh, 1500. What's that? Oh, that, that's just that's a strip, strip of land. That's a strip of land, yeah. right? And then uh, 196A is... That's a strip of land. Strip of land. Right. That's and the other side. Ford mm. Juniper Road is at the end of School Hill Lane. And it butts Lee Road. And the last, the last house on the left, that, that was a movie, right? Last house on the left on Lee Road, the individual a few years back expressed some interest in purchasing that, that land. The dilemma that the board had at the time, if you recall, we've changed our policy since then, is that everything was based upon assessed value. You've got 27,000 square foot parcel of non-buildable land, supposedly, and I'm surprised it wouldn't be buildable because at the end of you know, cul-de-sac and school hill lane, um, where the assessed valuation was off the charts and therefore rendered it not worth purchasing. Which which lot was uh, interested in it? Um, I believe. Uh, last one on Lee? It's the last one 61? on Lee. 61. And there's a little pathway. The, the big parcel to the bottom right is, is the middle school field behind the middle school. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and then there's a, a, a pathway. Right. To the middle. Hot, a hot top pathway that just goes to School Hill Lane. Yeah. So the kids walk through. Hmm. Um, so the people on, yeah, it, Lot 61 originally expressed an interest in purchasing it, but again, were scared away as a result of the high assessed assess valuation. Yeah. It just wasn't worth their while. But they currently enjoy the, the ruggedness of the terrain because it's not going to be buildable anyway, so why would they purchase it for an extraordinary piece of change? But, and that's what our dilemma has been. And this list is so long and comprehensive because we have been tied to a policy which we have since changed um, with the assessed valuation thing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense for people to purchase it. Like this is another one up in my neighborhood, uh, in 
thought of Ivy Street, Ivy and, and Mead and Taylor. Yep. Just a little corner lot. These people mow it, keep it clean, the whole thing, it's town owned. Why would you buy it? Why would you pay taxes on it? You know? Nobody can build on it. Nobody can build on it. So we have to make it somehow worth their while, combine it with their parcel, give them the ownership, and uh, get it off of our books and onto the, the tax rolls. In some cases, you're talking maybe selling a parcel like that for what, like a dollar just to move it on? Right, but what's happened it's is, possible. you know, that, that parcel might be 5,000 square feet, and you say you're selling that for hundred dollars right you know yet there might be someone another one five thousand square foot that you're going to sell for twenty thousand right. dollars right. and people are saying how come he got it for five bucks and i got it for and but there are parcels in here that i haven't looked at that i i'm fairly certain we still want to keep control of well, someone. but i am a big fan of selling town owned property I, i've been on the record for this i we've been trying to i i, I like you we've been no trying to get a lot of this stuff back on the tax roll for years but we've never been able to come well, to a consensus to get it done. We, we have it's interest it's in... It's labor intensive, too. We have interest in five lots. What, what are the wishes of the board? Part, part of what we have to do, too, is because, you know, some of these direct abutters have been programmed over the years of why bother? Why should I bother paying for it? I'll buy it if I'm going to enjoy it without having to pay taxes on it. So maybe because of the long-standing policy that we had in place, Maybe we need to just start identifying some of these parcels and putting them up for sale and letting anybody know that we're going to sell them and then mm -hmm. stimulate some interest. Right. Yeah. Rather, rather than wait, waiting for the interest to come to us, we have right. to stimulate some If you want some something, you have to create the buzz so, for so it. I think we're going to have to you know, stimulate some interest in these parcels uh, because right now the interest is very low because there's no incentive for them to buy it. Right. Well, do we publish our new policy well, that's about a year old in the transcript? Well, along with, there's a list of parcels sure. um, that we intend on putting up for sale and maybe notifying some of the abutters that's available. Uh, there's one right down by you, Sean, um, right behind you. Um, you know, there's a paper street. Yep. There's, there's a lot right next to you. There's a little paper street in there. Right. And then right to the right of it, towards my house, there's a lot right in there that mm -hmm. the people that live in that house right there were interested in. but. At one point, the board was looking for you know, $10,000, $5,000, $10,000, and they just couldn't swing it. It was silly because it made sense for it to go with that parcel. So something less would probably be used for that. Yeah. I would agree with publishing our policy regarding no longer assessed value that we're looking for, along with the list of these parcels that are town owned in the transcript. I think we should make an attempt at picking and choosing some of them, like to say, we're going to advertise them and offer them up for sale. Right. And then have two or three abutters and let them decide who has an interest in it now. Create some interest. Right. And we have interest in these five, so I think we move forward with these right. in terms of whatever boards and committees have shown an interest, but they haven't specifically explained what that interest is. I think we provided with these five parcels. They have until our next meeting to tell us why they have an interest support it, and then we can move forward at that point, deciding whether or not we do want to sell them okay, to. And the rest of them, we'll have to contact and suggest Mr. Fitzpatrick, I guess, but he's not what I recall stepping forward and trying to explain what the situation was. Do we know who, who the individual is that wants to purchase Seven Rust? I forget the name. Yeah, I have the name. Difficult it, it, to pronounce, if I recall. Is yes. that person right. a, me a member of that association, or was oh, it? Would, would have been. Yeah. I would have by, been. by virtue of yeah. by owning the parcel. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, not specific to that parcel, but um, you did receive a response from the CPC. You don't have it in your packet. It came in late this afternoon. Um, they did identify a number of parcels in here that potentially are buildable. So. Um, there are, that is something to keep in mind in terms of what the board's position or policy would be on that, whether you wish to retain those well, or if they're offer them. Well, my suggestion would be if some of these are potentially buildable, I would suggest that we, as a board, or as a community, go through the necessary steps to get them buildable. 
you know, go through the necessary mm -hmm. steps, the hearing process, mm -hmm. which would render them much more valuable, which would then mm -hmm. have a greater return to the right. town, rather than selling it off at a discounted mm -hmm. price and let someone else go through the, right. the exercise in doing it. I mean, all it's going to take is our engineers and, you know, our staff. If there's a way to have, make, render some of these buildable lots, okay, again, not that we're looking to have more single-family homes in town because generally it costs us money, um, but you're going to have a one shot in the arm for $200,000 a pop, which you wouldn't normally have if you sell it off for $5,000. So if, if someone's going to make $200,000 off of it, it may as well be the taxpayers. I agree. I'll put together that list for you. Yeah, because so I think it's important for you to start there and have an understanding. Okay. And there may be a compelling interest on the part of whether it be conservation or the CPC to say these may potentially be buildable and we don't want them to be built right. on. Right. Well, okay, let's make the case and make sure that they're not. Yeah. That's the yeah. information we're looking for. But out of the, the five that are on this list, when you go through the spreadsheet, few of the committees or departments have yeses. For those, like across the board for the last one, Juniper has, I think it's just a couple of departments, and only conservation on the first one, 196 Main Street. But 206 Main Street and 196A, there was nothing. No one had any interest on it. Yeah, so. um, any of those five parcels that any board of committee has expressed an yeah, interest, they have to be parks and record interested. They should yeah, be notified. They do. I know one of these, so. A specific reason as to why they have an interest by our next meeting. So let's move this thing forward on these five possibles. Yeah. I, I'd like to see the assessed value on this table. Okay. Greg? Um, well, I have, have them for the parcels that people have expressed an interest in. Yes. We can, we can uh, uh, have that for you <laughs> prior to our next meeting. Okay. I think on this spreadsheet, which I've seen for the last Sorry, 22 years, um, we may want to extend a little bit further. I'd like to see the assessed valuation on the, on, on this spreadsheet, too. Okay. You know, because you're going to see what little sense it makes when, when it's highlighted like that. What uh, about, in there? I presume that most, if not all, have a, some sort of back taxes on them. No? Uh, not all of them. Um, no, like if that one that was wasn't never accepted by by the consortium of the folks in that neighborhood, then the, there would have been no assessed tax on it, right? When oh no, there's, that no, no, there still is. Oh no, there was a, and that's that's how come we ended up owning it, I think. Oh. Well, you say the story. Because it had to be some tax. taking by the town yeah. right. as a result of non-payment of taxes right. somewhere along the line. Hmm. Right. Throw another little wrinkle. At least it clears the title. Yeah. <laughs> Get it. You know, the, uh, and, and if we could just sort this list, it's in Excel, it's pretty simple. By, by, um, alphabetical order? Uh, no, whether it be housing partnership, housing authority, oh. CPC, interests, you know, uh, conservation's interested in most everything. Anyway, they would be. And then no interest. So you can start with your no interest ones. That's right. That's the right. that's way I looked at it. Start with your no interest ones and start disposing right. of them. This is on a right. spreadsheet, so I, I, it should be easy enough. Yeah, to it should be easy enough just to sort. Let's get this stuff where nobody has an interest. And start contacting the abutters and say we're well, intending on putting them up for sale. And you know, the, the deal is, you know, it's going to be parcel of your parcel, and uh, you, know, you can build a garage or a shed or an addition on it, but you can't build a separate fam family dwelling on it. Who's interested? What about that example where they, about what, three months ago, four months ago, where the guy left from New York, but somebody wanted to build a, um, a septic I thought system? Thought the septic system um, went out. I mean, is, is that okay on some of these properties? Or suppose they put on the addition and the addition can go in, but not a not a freestanding. That's the only house. one that I've seen where they were actually encroaching on town-owned land that we already own. I mean. They had buildings and structures and a septic system on a piece of town all land. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recall any other discussions over the years of anything like that. Well, just doesn't wait. mean it doesn't happen. Just wait. <laughs> doesn't mean it's not there. Yeah. Doesn't we mean it's not there. Boxes they may surface again. Uh, but one of the